United States taking a stand against people with disabilities? Former Senator Bob Dole took to the Senate floor in his wheelchair to push for support of a United Nations treaty that helps disabled people around the world. Despite that, senators voted against the treaty, something that would presumably have had a wide margin of support. I've heard from advocacy groups consisting of people who hope and believe that this treaty will protect disabled Americans as they travel abroad and as they go about their lives. But I've also heard from parents of disabled children who are concerned that this treaty, in adherence to the best interests of the child standard in Article 7, will threaten their rights as parents. I sympathize with John Boehner. The Tea Party has a firm grip on the Republican Party, and that's obvious what's happened this morning here in Washington. In rejecting this treaty, the United States broke from 125 countries that have ratified the treaty, including Syria and Saudi Arabia. Some Senate Republicans actually voted to approve the measure, like Senator John McCain and Kelly Ayo, to name a few. But members of the Tea Party banded together to ultimately block the measure because they say if the measure passed, the United Nations would impose its will on disabled people and their families in the United States. Joining me now, Maria Cardona, Democratic strategist and CNN contributor, and Anna Navarro, a Republican strategist and also a CNN contributor. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Good morning Carol. Carol. So, Anne, I want to start with you. Can you explain to us why conservative Republicans are opposed to a treaty that would, in John McCain's words, promote rights for disabled people, including our own veterans overseas? Well, you know, first of all, I don't think it was a stand against uh, people with disabilities. It was a stand against this treaty. It was a stand against the United Nations treaty. There were a number of concerns. Uh, I've read the statements by both, you know, John McCain and also some of the other senators that voted against. They're not Tea Party senators, as Senator Reid is describing them. They are thoughtful people who pay attention, people like Lindsey Graham, senators like Rob Portman, senators like Marco Rubio. They are Republicans who give, uh, you know, who give a great, uh, great credence to things like sovereignty and who don't want to give authority to the United Nations. They want the Americans with Disability Act to be the golden standard by which we guide our actions. But, but isn't the treaty worded in pretty much exactly the same way as the Americans with Disability Act is? Right, which begs the question, well, why, would, why give any power to the United States Nations? Now, let me tell you, Carol, I served as an ambassador to the United Nations Human Rights Commission. It is an uh, incredibly bureaucratic organization with very little teeth, very little fang and ability to enforce anything. So some people had concerns about not wanting to give authority to the United Nations and rather keep it as a sovereign issue within the United States. I think it's a credible concern. But, but Maria, if the United Nations doesn't have any teeth to in, in, impose this treaty in the United States, like what difference does it make? Yeah. Uh, that's exactly right, and I think that's the problem with the arguments that Republicans are making. And, you know, I understand that people like Rick Santorum, who does have a disabled child, they feel very strongly about this, but even in the arguments that he's making, he contradicts himself, as most Republicans did yesterday, in saying that this treaty has no teeth and that it can't be enforced, and at the same time saying that by signing it you give up American sovereignty, those are two contradicting statements right there. And so to me, it is a huge perception of the United States and frankly, to the chagrin or what should be the chagrin of, of Republicans, a perception that, that GOP Republican, Senate Republicans are standing against the rights of, of the disabled abroad. And so I think that it was a hugely missed opportunity to really show American leadership in an area that is sorely needed, especially across the globe. I mean, Anna, does it really boil down to Republican distrust of the United Nations in general? Look, I think it boils down to Republican distrust of the United Nations. I think some people have procedural concerns. They don't want any treaties ratified during a lame duck session. They think this is something that should be fully aired, you know, while the Congress is in full session and they want the focus to be on the fiscal cliff. Some conservatives did have issues and concerns regarding abortion and, you know, what it meant for the rights of the disabled while they were in the womb. So there were a number of concerns. I all, look, let me tell you this, Carol. When I saw Bob Dole 
get wheeled in by his wife, uh, former Senator Elizabeth Dole, my, my heart melted. And I think it meant a lot to people like John McCain. But that does not mean that some of these issues that some of these Republicans had were not credible and are not, you know, we should just, just say, okay, you know, there's a lot of treaties that have really pretty sounding name, but the devil's in the detail. And I think that's what some of them felt when it came to this treaty. Anna Navarro, Maria Card, go ahead, Maria, quickly. I was just going to say, I mean, I hope Anna's right, and if Republicans really want to do this right, they will have another chance in the next Congress. And this is something where Americans really need to step up. I think what happened yesterday was GOP fear of the Tea Party, because every single senator that voted against it is, was most likely up in 2014, except for one. Okay, Anna Navarro, Maria Cardona, thanks so much. Thank you.